Hello and what is going on today guys, Tomcat here and today in Spin Tires Mudrunner we're going to be checking out a brand new adventure map using Spun's new Toyota FJ60 Land Cruiser. Now this thing has massive axles, swampers, and is fully outfitted and ready to go. I mean this thing, this thing is ready to do everything from climb rocks to just straight up play in the dirt. So um, there's only a couple things you can do. You can add gas cans and a TSL spare, but that's about it. And honestly this thing doesn't really need much else. Anything else would just be really looks items at that point, or maybe a light bar, but I can see why you wouldn't want to put one on it. Now, I really also like the cage in this thing. It's a full cage. There's literally just, it's a full cage, and everything behind the driver and passenger seat is really space for the cage and the spare tires. So there's not really that much going on with this thing except for uh, what it can do for off-roading purposes. But what I find hilarious is when you floor it, and the back end just sits down like crazy. It's ridiculous. Now, the only thing though that that the, the thing that that means that basically what that means is this thing is going to flex amazingly well. It, or hopefully it's going to flex amazingly well and it's not made for high speed stuff. I mean, I'm only driving it quickly because we're on this pavement here, but we're going to be off the pavement and onto the dirt in no time at all. The dirt is actually right here. Uh, we've got actually a pretty sweet interior view. The steering wheel doesn't turn, but I'm not too bothered with that. He, he did not overlay the dash, which I think is actually fine. I'm not too too big on overlaying the dash if you spend the time to model a dash anyway but wow you put it in low three and like low three is low like low three is a lot lower in this than in a lot of other vehicles i've driven recently so let's put it in low three and crawl up this hill low three in this is the equivalent of low two in most vehicles i would say and by the way the suspension in this thing is absolutely gorgeous like these coilovers uh the steering assembly at all it all um you can see it all flexing up and down, so do the leaf springs, so do the rear shocks, and it really just, it's a its a properly put together vehicle. Getting some nice grip through this mud. The mud's not very deep, it's just more like soft ground, but it really just, I wouldn't say it scrambles over it, it more just walks, like just walks right through it. Come on, let's see how we do with this hill. This hill's a little iffy. Uh-oh. All right, we're going to need a different angle on this hill. I'm thinking about just trying to bump it in a higher gear. Seeing if, nope, bumping it didn't work. I mean, it could work. You would just have to, oh. You would just have to have the exact right angle to, to basically, you know, to basically correct the truck. I am going to... <laughs> Yeah, the garage is right back here, so I feel like we're close enough that it's not an issue, but I'm going to... Uh, what? One of those is breakable, the other one is like, nah, I'm, I'm good, bro. Let's refuel it. And actually, you know what? Since we're heading out into a wilderness that we've never been into before, fill up that gas can as well. And since the garage is right here, let's... Oh, I see why those are solid. They're, they're signs. That's why. But yeah, we're just going to go ahead and run down this, uh, run down the paved road again, get right back onto the dirt. And actually, this is not my first time on this map. I mean, I did a little bit of scouting on it just to make sure it would work, but that was with a different truck. And I didn't really, I didn't really go into the dirt that much. I just kind of drove around the map for a second and was like, okay, good, the map works. Which you guys would be surprised how many modded maps, you know, like, I, that I'll download. And I'm like, dude, I want to film this. And then you go to, you go to try to use the map and it just doesn't work. There's, there's like code in the map that's missing or something it'll either not work or it's not um it's not actually been you know like packaged up properly but anyways that's that's another topic entirely but we're going gonna go ahead and go back into back into this trail and hopefully do a little bit better than we did last time scramble up the hill and i'm gonna aim for the right and see because like the front bumper is just digging in right now come on Come on, oh god. It was properly iffy. Properly iffy. Come on, will you climb? Come on, oh god. Alright, you know what? I'm, whoa! That's a weird winch point. That's a flip me over winch point. <laughs> right up the hill. So let's go ahead and release that. I'm going to try and use the winch as little as possible to really try to explore the capabilities of this vehicle as a whole. But if I do need to use the winch, I will. 
Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There you go, there you go, there you go. This thing has really good grip, though, going up hills. That one, it just... I, I think it had trouble making it up it just because it was that steep. I mean, a lot of vehicles would have trouble making it up that hill. I mean, I, I know of buggies that would have trouble making it up that hill, so nothing against this... Nothing against this rig. This rig's... This rig's awesome. Come on, there she goes. Oh, jeez. Didn't quite know it was on the other side of that hill, and I got a little bit, like... I wouldn't say freaked out for a second, but I was like, I don't know what's on the other side of this hill. And I'm about to, like, drop over the edge. So, we're... <laughs> it's about to go really, really well, or just, you know, moderately well, or it could go very wrong. Let's get around this corner and down the hill. So far, no real hazards. No real map hazards that have popped up yet, anyway. Hoping for some rocks, because I hope oh, this thing does not like, does not like mud once the automatic mode starts to shift up into the higher gears. It's just like, oh, you're trying to make me go quickly through mud? Nope, not, not allowed. Not, not allowed in the least bit. So, we'll, we'll try to avoid that. Got some decorative rocks over here, but nothing, nothing to climb on yet. I've been really hoping for something to climb on on this map. Low 2 is actually just a little bit faster because we were getting a tiny little bit of wheel spin in low 3. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There she goes. So, like, it's so composed. It's like a big lumbering giant, but at, at the same time, it's a big lumbering giant that gets the job done. It just it gets the job done exactly how it sets out to do it and just walks right over stuff. These tires have to be at least 40s. There's no way they're anything smaller than a 40. Oh god, this is this is weird. The angle on this is tricky. Very tricky. It's like if you're not careful, you will slide into that tree and just get pinned there. And a lot of vehicles would have trouble backing up. Like a lot of trouble backing up. Ooh boy, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, that is such a tight corner. You don't really ever see corners that tight on on, uh, on trailing maps. And the reason why, I think, is because a lot of these vehicles don't have the greatest turning radius. This one included. Uh, it, it, the turning radius is not something that a lifted Land Cruiser is expected to have, though. So, oh boy. Got a lot more mud on our hands now. A bit of a creek to go through. This is actually really a really cool section. Getting the tires cleaned off a little bit. Little climb. Little climb. Nothing too nasty, though. Yeah, easily up the other side. Oh, this is this is actually quite steep. This is actually quite steep. Just stay straight ahead. Let it, let it do its work in low two. Just got it basically pinned in low two, but the gearing is limiting it, limiting it to what it could do as far as speed goes. But that actually, that turned out pretty well. I'm, I'm, I'm pleased with that. This one we're going to have to reverse. These turns are, like, too tight for us to not have to reverse occasionally. Drop in through here. No big deal. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh. That's... Whoa. This is different. This is super different. Oh, please don't tell me my axle glitch. Oh, my God. My... My axle glitched. No. Any winch? Yes! 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 Perfect spot. Oh, jeez. Unglitch, please. Oh, God, Axel! Thank you! Woo! That was a... That, that was one hell of a glitch. Holy crap, that was a glitch. Huge! Alright, put it back in low two because it, it got... The ground has gotten very soft again. Very soft and needs to be... Needs to be driven through slowly because if not... You're going to run into some issues pretty dang quick. Now, another thing I did want to show you guys about this map is it is huge. Absolutely. Look at all of this space. All of these trails. And by the way, we do have another paved road down here that goes all the way down to the other end to a locked garage, which you can easily unlock if you uh, spawn in a vehicle that has garage unlock options. You also have a garage in the middle of the map. I mean, this is just a massive, massive massive trailing map and you can log it if you really really want to but this is personally a, not a map that I would log it just it doesn't fit it uh, in in my opinion it doesn't fit 
the idea of a logging map, and I personally just would not. I just personally would not because I feel like maps like this should be reserved for should be reserved for trailing. But I mean, again, if you want to log it, you can, and that's completely and totally up to you. You know what I'm gonna do? Actually, I am. Oh God. I am not super interested in being stuck in mud all the time, so we're going to deviate from the trail, and we're going to bypass a couple things, and uh, I mean, no hard feelings to the map creator, but that's sold too much mud. Oh god, that got steep. That got real steep real quick. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, up the hill, up the hill, up the hill. Did we bypass the mud? Nope. Still muddy. Still very muddy, actually, out there. Pull me off the... Ooh, God! I was, all like, I was trying to pull myself off the tree, but I was trying not to do it, um, like, not to do it too abruptly, but... Ooh, God. That, that was lucky not to be a, like, not to be a rollover of sorts, but, like, I mean... I like mud sections, don't get me wrong, but I think mud sections are, like, you have to just, like, you can have a mud section, just make sure you have something other than back-to-back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back -to -back mud sections, because if you have back-to-back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back mud sections, people are gonna be like, oh my god, this is so freaking slow, and they're gonna be like, I'm bored, this is slow. And actually, I'm gonna use the winch to speed me myself up a little bit, get myself onto this solid ground over here, and carry on from there because then I can put it back in low three and start cruising again. This trail is very overgrown though. It's very overgrown on the edges. And I mean, it's not overgrown in all areas, but on the a lot of the edges, it's extremely overgrown. So you're not, you're not always sure where the trail is going until you like look around with the camera a little bit. Second gear freaking takes off. And then it shifts up the gears very fast. Oh my God. That's like, what, a mud V-notch? That's very different. This is a gully. Thankfully, we can restart the engine. Oh, that's the best spot for a safety winch. Oh my god. Dude, I have never seen any sections like this before in a mud runner map. This is very different. And hopefully we're able to just, like, see, we can make it just kind of ride the edge, ride the sidewall of the tire down the middle. And hopefully that will allow us to get through here without any issues. But, man, this section is different. This is one, one place where I'm okay with mud because this is a totally new challenge and a totally new way to, like, design an obstacle. I, I am very much a fan of it, actually. Come on. It started to mess itself up on the angle just a little bit, but we were able to correct it. Able to correct it actually fairly easily. This thing has a beefy sidewall, so it's able to do that no problem. Scraping up my passenger side a little bit. Would not have a passenger side mirror left. We're starting to rotate it up. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Come on. Come on, pull yourself out of the water. Pull yourself out of the water. There you go. Oh, too much. There we go. Right down the middle. Right down the middle. Jeez, this is this this is awesome. Like, this is actually a properly awesome section. I really, really enjoy this. My god! My god! You're almost completely sideways through there. That is insane! That is absolutely freaking insane. I mean, look at the position that the vehicle's in right now. Oh, God. woo -hoo. That's iffy. That's real iffy. Come on. Oh, don't do this. Don't do this to me. Come on. Don't do this to me, Land Cruiser. Come on. Find some grip. Find some grip. Find some grip. Dropped it down to low one to see if it would find any. There we go, top of low one, finds grip, dude. Oh, yes. So that keeps going. The trail turns right. You can actually continue along that path if you wanted. Whoa, dude! 
in low one, the top of low one, this thing just crawls itself right out of there. That is absolutely badass. I love this rig, dude. Absolutely love it. Oh, crap. That goes back in. Never mind. Never mind. Yo, uh, uh, help. Help! This isn't good. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, God. Well, we're gonna have to get another vehicle, and thankfully... I brought two other Land Cruisers. So, this map is actually insanely detailed, and there's so much stuff here to discover that I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to, uh, like, dive in with some more vehicles and take some more routes, and hopefully, now that Jeep Guy has a mic again, I may be able to get Jeep Guy back into a multiplayer session. Fingers freaking, uh, crossed on that. If, if that happens, that'll be cool. If not, I've got a bunch of other guys that I can bring into multiplayer very soon for you guys, and I think we'll be, uh, we'll have an absolute blast. But as of now, that Land Cruiser is about to go completely underwater. So, Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to leave me a like. Tell me in the comments down below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys next time. Talk to you all later.